How to create an eye tracking tool for your imported DAS characters in Blender. First, go to the transform orientation and set it to local. Set the pivot point to individual origins. In edit mode, select the tips of these two eye bones and stretch them out. Then right click and extrude. Press ESC, then pull them up. Select them both and then snap cursor to selected. Select one of the extruded bones and duplicate it. With that bone selected, right click, snap selection to cursor. This is our tracking control bone. Select both extruded bones, then select the tracking bone. Parent, make, keep offset. Select the tracking bone, then select the upper neck bone. Again, parent, make, keep offset. Now the upper neck bone will control the direction in which the tracking bone will point. Pose select the track bone and shift it over to the side slightly. In pose mode, select a stretched eye bone and go to bone constraints. Add in a track to modifier. Set the target as your rig. Then set bone to be that bone's extruded bone. After that, set the up to Z and the track access to Y. Now the eye bone will point at the extruded bone. Repeat the same steps for the other eye. Once you're done, select the tracking bone. You will see that the eyes will now follow it. If you unparent the tracking bone from the neck bone, you can pose the character while keeping the gaze fixed on something. To reparent it, make sure to reset the pose beforehand. Let's hide the eye bones to reduce clutter. Go to Data and press the plus button. Name that new layer Eye Bones. Select the layer, then select the eye bones and press Assign. Select the bones layer and press Remove. Now you can hide the eye bones. Lastly, select the tracking bone and go to Bone. Change both bone colors to red. Now you can select the tracking control bone much more easily. Like and subscribe.